hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to make a beautiful skirt that can be a perfect match for our previous butterfly top tutorial if you haven't yet checked out this tutorial we already have it on the channel and today we are going to learn how to make the matching skirt for the yarn i used alize cotton gold and one and a half to two balls should be enough for the whole project and then the hook that i'll be using is a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook this yarn recommends a two to four millimeter crochet hook so i used a 3.75 and then a pair of scissors and a measuring tape the measurements that we shall be considering for this tutorial are um the hip circumference divided by two so you're going to measure the widest part of your hips and divide that measurement by two so the measurement that i'll be considering will be 40 inches and we are going to divide it by two and we shall get 20 inches and i will be working this skirt in two panels the front panel and the back panel which we shall later on assemble to make a full skirt and then the other length that you'll be considering is the length of the skirt that you wish to make from the waistline all the way down to where you want your skirt to stop and let's jump into the tutorial if you would like the written pattern it's already available on all my online shops and you'll be having all the links in the description box below if you feel like this video is very fast for you and you're a beginner please make sure you check out the link in the description box below i have a video of how to slow down my videos in order to get it to your desired speed so you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a chain that is a multiple of 10 plus 6 so this chain should be able to stretch to half your hip measurement since we are working this piece in two panels so my starting chain was a chain of 66 chains remember we have to get a multiple of 10 plus 6 chains so from here you're going to go into the sixth chain from the hook so counting from this one one two three four five and six and into that sixth one you're going to go in with a double crochet this is row one then from here you're going to make a chain of one skip three chains one two three and one double crochet in each of the next three stitches one two and three and then make a chain of one skip three chains one two three and into the next chain plus a v-stitch so a v-stitch for this pattern is one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same exact chain so chain one skip over three chains into each of the next three chains you're going to place one double crochet chain one skip over three chains and one v-stitch into the next chain one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet so you're going to repeat this all the way across all right so we're coming to the end of the row and i have just placed my three double crochets I have a total of four chains left so i'm going to make a chain of one skip over the three chains and into the very last chain you're going to place one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same exact chain so this is what you'll have now we're going on to row two you're going to make a chain of three which counts as our very first double crochet And into the chain two space, you're going to place a total of three double crochets. So that brings us to four double crochets since the chain three counts as our very first double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet into the middle stitch of the three double crochets. Chain one, 
seven double crochets into the v-stitch so you can see this v-stitch into that space you're going to place a total of seven double crochets After your seven double crochets, you're going to make a chain of one and one double crochet into the middle stitch of the three double crochets. Chain one, seven double crochets into the V stitch. Alright, so this is the repeat for our row two, and you're going to repeat that all the way across until towards the end of the row where I'll show you how to wind up. So we're coming to the end of row two and this is exactly what we have from here you're going to make a chain of one and one double crochet into the middle stitch of the three double crochets and then you're going to make a chain of one and into this very last space which is supposed to be the v-stitch you are going to place a total of four double crochets So you should see that what we have here is exactly what we have at the beginning of the row. So let's go on to row three. You're going to make a chain of three, turn your work, one double crochet into the next double crochet. And then you're going to make a chain of one and you're going to place a V stitch into the standalone double crochets. You're going to skip over the two double crochets and the chain one space and then place a v-stitch into the standalone double crochet one double crochet chain three and one more double crochet into the double crochet then from here you're going to make a chain of one skip over two stitches of the seven double crochets and then into each of the next three stitches you're going to place one double crochet just like that so we are leaving these unworked the two stitches after then you're going to make a chain of one one v stitch into the next standalone double crochet one double crochet chain three and one more double crochet chain one skip over the next two stitches and one double crochet into each of the next three stitches so that's the repeat for this row Chain one, V stitch into the next standalone double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet in the middle three stitches of the next seven double crochets. So repeat that all the way across and I'll meet you back towards the end of the row. So we are coming to the end of row three and you're going to make a chain of one one v stitch into the next standalone double crochet and after the v stitch you're going to make a chain of one skip over the next two stitches and one double crochet into the last two stitches just like that now we are going on to row four for row four, you're going to start off with a chain of four, turn your work, and you're going to directly go into the V stitch with seven double crochets. After your seven double crochets into the V stitch, you're going to make a chain of one and one double crochet into the middle double crochet of the next three stitches chain one 
seven double crochets into the next V stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the middle double crochet of the next three stitches. And that's the repeat for this row. Go all the way across and I'll meet you back towards the end of the row. So we've come to the end of row four and I've finished placing my seven double crochets into the last V stitch of the previous row. And then you're going to make a chain of one, skip over the chain one space, skip over the next stitch and into the top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row, you're going to place a double crochet. Then um, we're going on to row five. You're going to start off with a chain of five Turn your work, one double crochet into the same exact stitch. So this will create our very first V stitch. Then from here, you're going to make a chain of one, skip over two stitches, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Chain one, one V stitch into the next standalone double crochet. Chain one, skip over two stitches and one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And we're going to repeat this chain one, V stitch into the next standalone double crochet. Chain one, skip over two stitches, one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So repeat that all the way across. So we're coming to the end of row five and after your three double crochets here you're going to make a chain of one skip over the two stitches skip over one chain and into the next chain you're going to place one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet into the same exact chain sorry it had to be a chain of two one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet into the same exact chain to balance what we have at the beginning of the row so you can notice that row five is literally the same as row one now we're going to keep repeating rows two to five again and again i'll be having timestamps in the description box below so you can follow along easily so rows two to five until you have the length of the skirt that you want to make for yourself so let me just keep repeating. I'll be back to show you what I'll have. So we are done with our very first panel and we have a total of 28 rows 
all together so you can do as long as you want your piece to be and now you're going to turn your piece upside down so that the shells are facing down as you can see here and we are going to create a row across the top edge of the skirt so where the foundation chain is and i am using two strands of yarn so we're going to start off with this space here what we want to do is to narrow down this width so that it's not as wide as this we want to bring it in so into the chain three space you're going to place one single crochet and then one single crochet in the middle stitches in the middle of the stitches here one here and one here just like that and then into the chain three space you're going to place one single crochet into the v stitch that chain with a v stitch you're going to place one single crochet and then one single crochet into the chain uh, three space and then into the middle of the uh, three stitches you're going to place two single crochets into each of the spaces here and here and you're going to continue that all the way across so you should see your work coming in as you can see here it's no longer as wide as it was before so continue to place single crochet stitches all the way across So when you get to the very last chain three space, you're going to place one single crochet and then a single crochet into the V-stitch, just like that. And try to stretch out your work a bit. And this is what we shall have. You can see it has gathered itself. It's no longer as wide as what we have for our second panel. So if we bring our second panel and put it on top here, you can see the second panel goes way past the length of the first panel this is because we've squeezed in the stitches of the first panel so from here you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn pull through and then you're going to just repeat the same exact process for your second panel make the same exact am an amount of rows or number of rows and then create this edging that brings in the top part of the skirt and then i'll meet you back at that point so when you get done with both the panels you're going to place one under the other so press this one like this and then the second one on top making sure that the the side where you worked your single crochet is the top side of the skirt and when you turn it around still the single crochet is worked on this side so from here you're going to get your yarn and you're going to make two chains that are going to lace up the sides of the skirt on this side and this side so each chain is going to be a total of 250 chains and I am still using a double strand to create the straps that are going to lace up the sides of the skirt so 250 chains so I have made two chains here of 250 chains each and we're going to place our skirt like this and we're going to lace up from bottom to top 
so we're going to lace up in the rows that have the v-stitch so if we are starting from the bottom of the skirt we are starting with this row the row that starts with the v-stitch just like that and then you're going to keep lacing up in those rows that start with the v-stitch that's the row that resembles row five I think yes row five All right, now the last row will be the very first row of the lace pattern. That's where we're going to lace up the very last part of the skirt, just like that. And then we are going to make a knot at the top, as you can see here. So this is what the side of the skirt will look like. You're going to fold it over and do the same exact process for your second side so this opening here we're going to just repeat the same exact process so just place it in a way that there's a space between the two panels and get your second strap and repeat the same exact process So when you make it all the way up, you're going to make a knot at the top of the skirt. And at this point, you can decide whether to add tassels to the ends of your drawstrings. And then the next thing that you're going to do is to weave in all your tails. And I'll be showing you the final piece. 